Hey guys, Tech here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to update a phone that has a really old iOS version to the latest version here. So if your iOS is a couple version behind, if you go into your settings and then you go to general software update, you'll see that there's an update available, but you cannot download it and install it through the Wi-Fi here. As you'll see here, it will give you a message like, to download or install the software, connect your iPhone to iTunes on your computer. So this phone is iPhone 8 Plus that we recently got. And if we go into our About page, this is running on iOS 11. Now we need to update it to the latest version that the iPhone 8 Plus supports, which is iOS 16. But we have to do it through iTunes or find it on a newer MacBook. So I'll show you how that is done here. So first thing is whenever you're having this um, update process, if you have a newer MacBook, they don't require iTunes anymore, but if you have like a PC or older MacBook, you need to go ahead and download and install the iTunes application, which if you go into your browser, just Google search iTunes, you'll see here iTunes, it will be the very first one from Apple's website. You can go ahead and download it based on whatever version, if you have a Windows or from the Microsoft Store. Like I said, if you have a newer MacBook, they don't require iTunes and you can't even download I iTunes because the Finder app itself will allow you to do the same thing that the iTunes app, which follows the same exact process. So it's already built in. So in order to update your phone, all you do is first, of course, connect your charger and then the plug charger cable to either the USB C or if you have the other USB, you just plug it into your computer and then you want to trust your computer here. And now what it will do is on a newer MacBook or if you installed iTunes, open up iTunes and you're going to see there's a update button, which I'll show you with using the find. Once you open a finder, right? Once you open a finder, you'll see your iPhone here or if you have iTunes, it'll show up as your iPhone screen and then you want to trust with your computer. And once you do that trust issue, it'll load up. It will say either set up as a new device or restore from your phone. So here I'm going to set up as new device and hit continue. And once I do that, you get to a menu. And this is the same menu you'll see on iTunes here. It will give you the option to update here. As you can see here, there's a button to update. So all I do is click on update. And once I do that, it's going to say that the phone will be updated to all the latest version, which is here is iOS 16.5. We'll click on that update and then it will say, uh, do you want to agree to this terms and condition, which I'm going to hit next. And this is just the terms and condition and agree. And as you can see here, the update is happening here. It's about six gig and my Wi-Fi is a little bit slow on my computer home network. So I'm going to have to wait. It's saying 37 minutes, but maybe less than that. But in the second part, after the update is complete, basically it should install the update, which I'm going to have to wait, stop the video. And when that update happens, I will show you guys how that is being updated from iPhone 11, iOS, iPhone 8 plus on iOS 11 to iOS 16, which is almost like five different versions ahead. Now, this hopefully doesn't break my phone, but we'll see what happens with this update. Alrighty guys, so it's been a little bit over some time. Uh, it took some time to download. As you can see here, once it's downloaded, it will start preparing the software, which stage right now we're in. So it took, I think, over like 40 minutes or something, but I just left it and left and then came back and saw that the 6 gig was downloaded since iOS 16.5 is quite the big size file. So expect your phone when you're connected like this, it will turn off and do spinny stuff. but. So it's going to be preparing it. As you can see, it's connected here. So I'm assuming this is good so far. And the whole time, you want to make sure you're connected if you can. Even if you get disconnected, uh, reconnect again. Uh, well, the phone, as you can see here, it's preparing for the update. So we'll just wait and see what happens here. So if you notice here on the phone now, uh, the Apple logo and then this loading bar is happening. Again, I'm not really sure how long from iOS 6. 11 to 16 how long it takes but we're going to see how long this process does take but when it comes to these big software upgrade it does take a little bit time which you know you do have to keep that in mind it doesn't just happen right away because these packages uh, take some time to update and there's a lot of software so you can see here it's updating again which is good here it's saying it 
loading on that screen in here I don't think they match up but that means the process is good so far which is good we'll just keep our fingers crossed and gonna hope that it goes through so we'll wait as this progresses along here and I believe if you can do this method for any phone that's compatible with the latest version for example if this phone was even an older iOS version you can get it to something even newer version as long as it's compatible and that's the other thing you want to check out that the phone is actually compatible you can google that so just type in your model number of, or the phone that you have like the iPhone and let's say you have iPhone uh, 10 or something you just want to put in latest iOS uh, version compatible it will give you the latest version you can update to so here the at the time of recording this one the 8 plus um, updates to iOS 16 um, I think that might be the last update for this iPhone just the FYI if you do have this update Apple is announcing iOS 17 in a couple months from now which iPhone 8 a plus and even the iPhone 10 didn't make the cut it seems unless Apple changes that when it does release it but based on some of the initial beta releases that we've seen and the so software testing that showed across everywhere iPhone 8 8 plus and the 10 were excluded but the iPhone SE second generation made it iPhone 10 R and the iPhone 10 S anything above that also would get the iOS 17 update so just to keep in mind that so if you have an older phone like iPhone let's say iPhone 6s or something or iPhone actually even 7 and you're trying to update to iOS 16 you can't update to iOS 16 it's just not compatible so compatibility the official supported version you want to make sure it is supported is basically what we're trying to say so you can see you're making good progress here same with the phone here so let's see how this goes all right I got another menu so seems like a couple more now this time it says verifying updated iPhone software which I hopefully that's a good sign again the other thing I did want to mention is that if you guys are doing any sort of major software update like this if you haven't um, make sure you back up your device if you ever do that which usually iTunes or your computer should back it up for you once you connect it to um, on your computer which is important to do just in case you need to recover your data again and the phone doesn't work or something so still going strong here again I just want to show the whole process here the time it takes I'm not trying to edit any of the part besides the initial download which again took over probably 40 minutes or something that doesn't make sense but I have to stop the video for that but this part I just want to show this you know in real time how long it takes so all of this you're seeing right now is none of this edited so if you wanted to move further ahead or go back and forth between it you can just to see how long it takes so this will try to give you an idea of how long the software update takes even after you download them so as you can see it's doing another update now this time it says updating iPhone firmware so as you saw here each time it's doing a different action which is means you know it's good so far all right so we got that going on another thing I noticed just want to share with you um, is that if your phone is maxed out on storage you might not be able to update it so if that's the case for example the iPhone 8 plus here it's only a 64 gig phone and if you're already maxed out at your local storage like you're, you're almost using 60 gig and you're trying to update it to a latest version which requires more space you won't be able to do the update so I recommend is trying to delete stuff if you can beforehand like your photos videos usually videos take up a lot of space especially larger video files any apps that you don't need you can delete usually that will help to clear up some space but you want to make sure that you give enough or you have enough space to do these upgrades which is a big problem I see a lot of times when uh, people try to go ahead and update their phone is that they don't have enough storage 
Alrighty, so it's still updating the firmware here, it keeps on loading, which is again a good sign as long as these things are moving forward. I don't think there should be anything to worry about, but we'll see as it progresses along. And the other way you can always see your storage available. I don't know if you have noticed here on the top here, it tells you this is, it says out of 60 gig, but this is 64 gig phone so even right off the bat it doesn't have the full available storage and then how much available you have so here i recommend for like iowa 16 update you need at least 10 gigs or so it's a six over just a little over six gig update but you know it doesn't hurt to have a little bit extra so if you have like 10 gigs or so available off your iphone so if you have the bigger version like the 256 gig which the iphone 8 plus also comes in that version like that version um that's probably better but if you have the lower version like I have here with the 64 gig, um, you do have to clear up some space. So still going pretty strong here, so that's a good indication for us. And if you guys are doing an upgrade from a really older version to a newer version, like for example, this from 11 to 16, I also want to hear from you guys in the comment section if you put in a comment so other people can see what version you have and what version you're jumping to, which is usually, to me, I find it really fascinating just to see how much you can jump. So I saw some people, you know, when they upgraded from iOS 10 to maybe iOS 14 or 15 on their phone um it's kind of neat to see that when you go from really old version ios to new one so you can see here finally you got the message where it says iphone has been updated it and is restarting please leave your iphone connected so we'll leave it connected it will appear in the side bar after a restart so basically saying just keep it connected well it is restarting so once it restarts hoping I'll get to the main screen and then I'll hit OK and then hit that done button. You can probably hit OK now too, but let's see what happens when the restart happens here. So Apple logo, so all right, so it's doing another loading here again going on, so it's still good. Seems like it's really slow here, but we'll see. Sometimes initially starts really slow sometimes I see it goes like slow and all of a sudden it just finished so let's give it a little bit of time to restart and this probably the restart is like when it reloads the code and everything one more time just to make sure everything is working correctly I think we're almost there, but we'll see how long this takes. And again, the reason why we're doing all of this in real time is just to show how the upgrade itself goes about. Sometimes I've seen when people update the phone or some videos, they skip a lot of the part and you think it should be quick, but it does take some time. So kind of being a little bit patient <laughs> helps with this process. Alrighty, so that loading screen away, we still see the Apple logo. I had a little vibration on my finger. This hello screen is iOS 16 updated version, so it looks like it's good. It's a software, I can probably just hit trust. 
continue here. I'm just going to hit Touch ID. You can set that up and then set it up. But we'll see. Passcode. This phone doesn't have anything on it, so I'm just simply using this as a demo phone to show you. So I'm not setting anything up, but you can for your phone. And we see the wallpaper here. It's system not available, but as you can see here, it's been updated, and I can go to settings, a general update, and I see iOS 16.5. As you can see here, just to prove that from 11 to 16.5, it's possible to upgrade it. And as you just saw, I'll take it off the computer here, and I'm good to go here. As you can see, the app library and all of the updated version on iOS 16.5. So there you go with the update. Hopefully, you guys found this video helpful. Like I said, in real time without any edited part how long this took just to show you also share with us how long it took you what version you went to what version and if you have any question leave a comment in the comment section i'll try to get back to you thanks for watching guys see you guys next time